Hey friends, what's up? Koss here. Welcome back to another server admin tour or bucket spick and plug tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of when you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that down as well. I'll give you a shout out like uh, this one person suggested this. Now, this is made by Jamie Sin, and this is Trails GUI, or GUI, if you're over the pond, and that's how they say it. If you're using an older version of Minecraft, like 1.8 or 1.9, you need to not use the latest version because it will fail on you. 1.10 does kind of work. There's some errors that might show up in your config, but it works. Now, let's get into it. What this does is it gives you an option of doing trails, and you can select different kinds of trails. And actually, you can select more than one trail, so we're going to select that and then let's do lava large smoke trail so there we go we've selected three and then once you're done and you want to restart or if you want to go back you can go remove trails there's also another page there's a whole lot of different trails that you can select which is really slick okay so the permissions are a little bit weird they're not set up all by default and there's two different types of permissions there's the command permissions and then there's inventory permissions inventory permissions pertains to this trails command uh in there they need to access trail trail gui command inventory so that allows them to open this and then if you want them to have access to any one of these that's going to be trail gui inventory name now the flip side of that in order to access that through the commands that's going to be trail gui trails name and then that way they can set it through that command you want them to be able to use this clear all or remove trail option you need to give them trail gui inventory clear all and then if you want them to be able to do next page you need to do trail gui inventory next page and then previous page trail gui inventory previous page page as well in order to get access to all of those extra commands i feel like that should be built in but that's how it is so if you've asked if you've given them only some permissions to some of these then that shows up in there which is really slick and then if they do trail it'll tell them what trails they have access to through the commands let's take a look at the config and wrap this up okay so here we are in the config you can change the name of the inventory which is really nice you can also change the prefix of it to your own color scheme or own name which is really slick you can clear trails on disconnect you can clear inventory on deny permission you can actually disable this in another world so if you only want it enabled in a hub world you can have that enabled you can uh, remove it on hit there's a whole lot of different options in here which is really slick i like this close inventory after selection you can set this to true so when they select their their trail it automatically closes you can change the messages in here i love it when they add that here's the other kind of messages you can change and you can actually modify the trails in here for the speed and the amount and the cooldown and order and all that stuff which is really slick you can put lore on them as well pretty straightforward just kind of play around with it see how it works there you go pretty quick and easy plug-in like i said it works really well it's very lightweight and there's a lot of stuff you can do you can really play around with the permissions and accessing different kinds of trails i love the fact that you can do multiple trails that's really cool so players can really like show off what they've collected and their own little personal tweaking and making it look different so this is cause remind you guys all enjoy the game god bless